RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television, proudly presents... Screen Directors Playhouse, star Rosalind Russell, production She Wouldn't Say Yes, director Alexander Hall... Hollywood Screen Directors present a scheme for psychiatry. Tonight, for the first time on the air, the motion picture comedy, She Wouldn't Say Yes, starring Rosalind Russell in her original role of Dr. Susan Lane. There was once a girl... Named Susan. Susan Lane. Doctor, Susan Lane? The eminent psychiatrist. Exactly. A very well-balanced personality. Strongly disciplined. No time for love. Well, not that strongly disciplined. <laughs> there was also a young man named Michael Kent. Uh, the cartoonist. The eminent cartoonist. And creator of the Nixie. Nixie? Yes, my cartoon character. He's the little elf who sits on your shoulder when you see a beautiful girl and says... Go get her. Well, does he say it very often? Well, that's between you and the Nixie. Well, is the girl usually cooperative? Well, that's between you and the girl. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kent. Well, now I have to pick up my train tickets. I'm going back to Chicago. Me and the Nixie. <laughs> oh, uh, pardon me? Whee! <laughs> Well, I know you're engrossed in your newspaper, but I'd like my tickets, please. Oh, uh, reading about the Nixie. Sits on a fella's shoulder, tells him to go ahead and throw an egg in the electric fan. You mean that horrid comic strip character? Say, you ain't got an egg in your purse, have you? Yes, but I'm saving it for Easter. <laughs> now, I'd like my tickets to Chicago, please. My name is Dr. Lane. Say, you a medical man? Only around the edges of my diploma. <laughs> the tickets, please. Uh, Lane, Lane. Say, got them here. Say, I'll take them. A car nine up a nine. Easy to remember. Nine goes with Nixie. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go without them. Oh, but it isn't. Isn't what? All the same to me. Say, can I help you, Bub? Yes, I'd like my tickets, please. Birth to Chicago. Do you usually barge into other people's conversations? It all depends on the people. Now, take you, for instance. You'll do nothing of the kind? Attractive, slim ankles, neat legs. Oh, brother, a nylon salesman. <laughs> he got a reservation, bub? Uh, yes, name's Michael Kent. Kent. Kent! Say, you the fellow what draws the Nixie? Yeah, I happen to be the fellow what does that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Creating that little fiend who goes around wheedling people to destruction. Not destruction. Freedom. You ought to listen to him sometime. Sorry, bub. No reservation. Pardon me, bub. But if I can just have my tickets, you and Mr. Kent can put your Nixies together and talk this thing over. Uh, here's your ticket. Thank you. You're leaving? Just as fast as my slim ankles and neat legs can carry me. Just a warning, Mr. Kent. You and your Nixie might well conceivably be undermining the morals of this country. Well, what about yours, personally? Undermining my morals, Mr. Kent, is a job for a bulldozer. <laughs> and not a Nixie. Goodbye. Uh, interesting girl. It's too bad. I know where you can rent a cheap bulldozer, Bubba. <laughs> Uh, no, no, just a birth to Chicago, please. Ain't got one. Say, I can hear that Nixie whispering in my ear now. Yeah, what, what does he say? Just found a birth to Chicago. Bub, I'm a nip. <laughs> Car nine, upper nine. Nine goes with Nixie. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, Cuba Libra, please. Uh, pardon me, miss, if I could just... Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Not the Nixie again. My, my, you're sure a sight for sore eyes. Just keep your sore eyes off my ankles. <laughs> right, can I buy you a drink? No, no, thank you. I'm just waiting yes, for my verse to be made up. I... Like this. The wrong car, the wrong train. Tell me, conductor, it is a train, no? Well, it isn't the night boat to Albany. <laughs> That uh, blonde blizzard that just went by was Allura. Allura? Yes, she's the gal who wrote Biography of a Blonde. 315 pages and a different man on every page. Oh. Now there's a girl with too many Nixies in her grape nuts. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Dr. Susan Lane. Doctor? Why doctor? Uh, well, it's really very simple. I call myself doctor because I'm a doctor. <laughs> Selling much snake oil lately? <laughs> I happen to be a psychiatrist. You mean you go around messing in people's minds? You don't have to worry. Your mind's already a mess. <laughs> well, as a psychiatrist, uh, what would you suggest? A slush pump connected between your ears. <laughs> well, I guess that settles my hash. Your hash, Mr. Kent, was settled the moment we met. And now, good night. I'm very tired. Uh, good night. And, uh, Susan. Yes? Uh, don't forget to dream of Nixie's. Mr. Kent. Yes, Susan? Nuts to your Nixies. Uh, conductor. Yes? Is this my berth? Let me see your ticket. Yes, car nine, berth nine. Nine goes with noodles. Noodles? I like noodles. Oh, you're going to be mighty crowded up there. I don't mind. When I was your age, neither did I. <laughs> Let me help you up. Upsie daisy. Thank you. Now to get these darn curtains open. <laughs> Conductor, there's a woman in my berth. Yeah, that's your prize. It's just like a box of Cracker Jack. <laughs> Mr. Kent. Susan. This is carrying a flirtation too far. Then get out of my berth and stop encouraging me. You take your face. Right away from here. Between those curtains or I'll slap it. I'm getting into my berth. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> well, well, did you fall out of Betty by? I was thrown out. And if he comes back here, I'll throw him out again. It's my berth. It's my berth. Yeah, of course, it's both your berths. Cozy, isn't it? <laughs> What? You both have the same bird. You're married, aren't you? We are not. Well. <laughs> you realize this puts me in an embarrassing position. Well, you want to swap? <laughs> well, why couldn't you have been married? Now I'll have to make out a report in triplicate. <laughs> okay, if it makes you feel any better, we're married. Good night. You stay out of here. Is that woman molesting you? <laughs> Molesting him? I'll murder him. Murder? That's another report in triplicate. <laughs> well, look, conductor, can't you do something to straighten this thing out? Well, I'd like to, but I have to find a doctor on the train. Well, I'm a doctor. You? Yes, me. What's the trouble? In that blonde in drawing room A, Allura, she tried to crawl out the window. Good heaven. Ooh, she's a wild one. <laughs> Well, what made her wild? She says men did it. Oh, I know just what she means. All right, I'll get down. I'll take care of her. Well, I'd like to talk to you first. I'm Dr. Lane, a psychiatrist. I am Allura. How do you do? And now you will excuse me. I must go kill myself. <laughs> but why? I read my own book. It makes me sad. I am Bolivian. When Bolivians are sad, it is terrible. Well, nothing is that terrible. Look at my life. Really, I love only three men. Well, that's a pretty good average. <laughs> but I kill them. Say, so, yeah, I've got one outside you might get rid of for me. <laughs> I mean, he... Did you say you killed them? Uh, yes. I kissed them. And that killed them? Yes. 
Bolivia must be quite a country. <laughs> I kiss them and they die. Right in your arms? No, they wait a while. <laughs> then they get hit by trucks. Trucks? They all have accidents. Oh, but Allura, you can't blame yourself for that. Oh, yes. Three times the men belong to other women. The women blame me because their men are killed. It is my fault. I kiss them to death. Now, oh, that's ridiculous. You're merely the victim of an unfortunate coincidence. Oh, no. When Allura loves another woman's man, whoof, he dies. So, I kill myself and remove the menace. I see. Now, Allura, as a psychiatrist, I find your neurosis comparatively simple. All you have to do is kiss a man who's attracted to you. And when he continues in good health, you'll know that your neurosis has been completely cured. It's like taking an aspirin. <laughs> I want no aspirin. I want page one. Page one? Of my book. Oh. I make him up. He is my favorite. He is a beautiful hunk of man. So handsome and tall. Come in. Uh, Susan, it's cold out on the observation platform in my pajamas. Why don't you get off and run for a while? <laughs> Look, are you going to use the berth? No, I'm not. I'll be staying here all night until we get to Chicago. Ah. Oh. He is beautiful. Allura, what are you staring at? Him. Me? You. Why? You are my page one. You are my box of aspirins. Oh. <laughs> Allura, this is Michael Kent. Hello, Georges. Stay away from me. Stand still, aspirin. Aspirin, I. Uh, Mr. Kent, I just had a wonderful idea. You stay away from me, too. How would you like to have dinner tomorrow night? With you? At my apartment. You have crossed me double. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. The uh, Nixie did it, huh? Yes. Uh, for what I have in mind, he certainly did. Uh, then it's settled. Uh, good night. Good night. So, you are fiddling in my box of aspirin. <laughs> oh, no. You're the one who's going to have dinner with the aspirin. What? It's a plan. I won't even be there. No? He's all yours, from his knees to his nixies. Why do you do this for me? Because I'm a psychiatrist, and, uh, and I think that Mr. Kent is the proper treatment for you. It'll remove your neurosis. Uh, no other reason? Well, it'll also remove Mr. Kent. I happen to know that he's bothering a certain woman. Oh, he bothers me, too. <laughs> Well, he bothers her in a different way. For this, I send you stupendous gifts. Just the usual fee. I send you flowers, lilacs. I love lilacs. I send you so many lilacs, you will hate lilacs. Um, isn't psychiatry wonderful? You'll have a treatment, Mike will have a romance, and me? Yes. I'll have lilacs. <laughs> you know, I think I ought to see a good psychiatrist. <laughs> You are listening to the Screen Directors Playhouse production of She Wouldn't Say Yes, starring Rosalind Russell and presented by RCA Victor. According to RCA Victor, dealers across the country, thousands of American families are spending their 1950 vacation money in a brand new way. Instead of going somewhere for a couple of weeks by car or train or boat, they're going everywhere for 52 weeks by RCA Victor television. Yes, every day's a holiday when you own a television set like RCA Victor's beautiful 16-inch console, the TC-166. Its handsome cabinet, in your choice of rich mahogany, walnut, or limed oak finish, is designed in traditional style, so it blends into any living room as if it were born there. You'll never stop marveling over its huge, clear, radiant, steady pictures and its glorious golden throat tone. They're RCA Victor's finest which, as you know, means the finest in the world. Find out from your RCA Victor dealer how easily this superb console can be yours. Here's wishing your whole family a daily holiday trip to everywhere by RCA Victor Television. America's first, America's finest, America's favorite. <laughs> Now, 
now, back to the Screen Director's Playhouse production of She Wouldn't Say Yes, starring Rosalind Russell in her original role of Dr. Susan Lane, with Hi Averback as Michael Kent. Yes, sir? Uh, I'm Michael Kent. Oh, yes, sir, come in. I'm Albert. The young lady's on the terrace. Oh, then Susan hasn't forgotten. Oh, I don't mean Dr. Lane, sir. She said she'd be delayed. Well, then who's on the terrace? See for yourself, sir. And Mr. Kent. Yes, Albert? Heaven help you, sir. <laughs> Michael! My little box of aspirin. Huh? Mike, kiss me. Albert. Oh, you are a coward. You are not prepared to die. What makes you think I'll die? Kiss me and find out. Albert! Mikey. Albert! Mikey, Mikey, Mikey! Albert! <laughs> Look, Blondie, I, I, I've got other plans. Dr. Lane. Oh, her. She described you for me. She... Pre- for what? To cure me of killing everyone I kiss. Well, that's a pretty bad habit. Kiss me. No. Kiss I've me. I've got my future to think about. Kiss my me. My insurance isn't paid up. No, me. no, kiss no, me. no, no, no! Kiss me. Well, Mr. Kent, you have a healthy appetite. Oh, hi. Oh, it's a wonderful dinner Albert puts up. I got hungry running away from that blonde. Oh, did she uh, give you much trouble? Trouble? How do you think those footprints got on the wall? <laughs> oh, uh... A charming girl, isn't she? Look, I know all about your little plot. She left oh. in a huff, claimed her aspirin was bad. Oh, fine. You're letting your own stubbornness come between this girl and her neurosis. I explained to Allura that the treatment wouldn't work. You see, I don't belong to anyone. And her neurosis is a fear of killing another woman's man. Uh, however... Uh, now, don't say however with that wild gleam in your eye. If I have to belong to someone, it might as well be you. Uh-oh, the Nixies are in again. Well, it's perfectly natural. I happen to have fallen in love with you. Uh, let's try an experiment. Really, Mr. Kent? Yes, really. I'll put my arms around you. Now, Mr. Kent, uh, as a psychiatrist... And hold you very close. Well, uh, technically, uh, this isn't an experiment. Let's not get technical. Listen. Hmm? Uh, Listen to what? The Nixie. Oh, I don't hear any Nixie. Oh. Now, uh, go ahead and talk like a psychiatrist. Uh, that kiss, I, I don't know what to say. I Then I, talk like a woman. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Kent, I think you'd better leave. You don't really think so, but I will. Temporarily. Good night, Susan. Who's that? Me, stupid. The Nixie. Nixie? That's ridiculous. There's no such thing. Okay. Have it your way. Why didn't you kiss him some more? Now, don't be revolting. Why not? You're revolting. You're revolting against the things you want to do. Think it over, kiddo. <laughs> Allura! Hmm. He waited for you. I see from taxi. Uh, It is you he wants. You see, uh, we'll just have to find someone else for your treatment. I don't want someone else. But he explained your neurosis can only be cured by men who belong to other women. And uh, Mike doesn't belong to anyone. Uh, The treatment doesn't have any teeth in it. Hmm. I take him without teeth. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, maybe you want him for yourself. Me? Well, now, now that, that, that's fantastic. Okay. But if you don't help me, I will help myself. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. What then? Uh, well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll let him think he belongs to me. <clears throat> then you can do what we planned. Hmm. And I will send you lilacs. Uh-huh. Good night, doctor. Good night. Hey, kiddo. Are you back again? 
bleeding trick you pulled there, pretending to allure you don't want bite for yourself. I was not pretending. Okay, okay. I'm only a Nixie. What do I know? But turning that blonde loose on him. What do you mean giving me that? You must think I'm so much in love I'm out of my senses. Well, you're talking to a Nixie, aren't you? My, 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 what impressive offices you psychiatrists have. The surroundings, Mr. Kent, aren't important. I've asked you to drop around because of our psychiatric problem. I don't have any psychiatric problem. But I have. Well, what's the trouble? Nixies. Nixies? I hear them. Well, just lie down on the couch. Oh, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> what? Now, you wait just a minute, Doctor. Well, certainly I mean... not. This is serious. You hear Nixies. What do they say? Oh, terrible things. It's like what? Like I'm in love with you. Oh, that is terrible. Uh, you know, I... I want to try that experiment again. Experiment? Yes, the... Uh, oh, the experiment. Yes, fine, fine. Uh, relax. I'm... Re oh, good Lord, I like it. <laughs> This thing can be definitely habit-forming. <laughs> well, Susan, that's the general idea. They call the habit marriage. Mike. Susan. Susan. Well, Doctor, aren't you overdoing it a little? Huh? Oh, quiet, Allura. I just asked her to marry me. So soon, Dr. Lane? Oh, you're wonderful. Uh, what does she mean, uh, so soon? Uh, well, well you last, last night, night she well, tell I... me she will fix it so she belonged to you, so your teeth would be in my treatment. <laughs> Is this true, Susan? Oh, that's the trouble with those darn Nixies. They get you into these things and then they disappear. All right, Susan, have it your way. Blondie, it's nice to be wanted. Let's go. Okay, Georges. Uh, but, but, Mike, you're, you're risking your life if you go with her. Well, it's a wonderful way to die. Yes. And if you cure me, I send the doctor lilacs. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Dr. Lane. Please, Albert. I, I'd like to be alone. The boy from the florist delivered these flowers. Lilacs. Lilac bushes. <laughs> bushes? Oh, that's terrible. All right, Albert, that did it. Thank you, sir. You? How do I look with lilacs in my hair? Why don't you go back to your blonde? Oh, I ditched her to go and buy these lilacs. Had a tip from an Ixie, straightened everything out. Oh, Mike. Mike, I'll never be well-balanced again. I'll be irrational and, and illogical and... I'm very much in love. So, you do it again. Oh, no, no. Oh, Laura, now you go get yourself another aspirin. He is my aspirin. He is mine. He is mine. Oh, no, he isn't. Boy, this is living. <laughs> you take your eyes off him. You take your hands off him. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I oh, won't. Oh, yes, you will. Laura, you are a spoiled brat. Ah, your father's mustache. <laughs> what? A Bolivian from Brooklyn. Listen, if you want the joke that bad, you got him, sister. <laughs> Psychiatry doesn't work in Brooklyn anyway. Well, Susan, now, now that you've got me. Come here, Georgius. Kiss me. Huh? My little box of aspirin. Uh, uh, Susan, remember, you're a psychiatrist. Ah, your father's mustache. <laughs> oh, Susan. Well, kiddo, that's the way it's done. See you in the funny papers. Who's got time for funny papers? What, darling? Uh, just to kiss me. <laughs> this 
is Jimmy Wallington speaking. You have just heard the last act of She Wouldn't Say Yes, and our star, Rosalind Russell, with guest screen director Alexander Hall, will be with us in just a moment. Next Friday, the Screen Director's Playhouse brings you two stars in a domestic comedy of terrors. Our story is Mr. Blandings Builds His Dream House. And our stars are one of Hollywood's most charming couples, Cary Grant and Betsy Drake, with Screen Director H.C. Potter. Now, here again is tonight's star, Rosalind Russell. Well, Rosalind, you know I was certainly relieved when you finally said yes. Why, Jimmy, you should have expected that right along. Now, fiction's just like real life. We girls may stall for a while, but really our motto is always double or nothing, especially in June. (laughs) Yes, especially in June is right. You know, it seems as if all the kids I know are getting married this month. Well, it's that way every year. When June is busting, I'm busted buying wedding presents. (laughs) Well, there's a remedy for that this year, Roz. Just give every young couple the finest and the least expensive automatic phonograph ever made. RCA Victor's new Victrola 45. Now, that is an idea, Jimmy. I remember I only paid $29.95 for my Victrola 45. It's a marvelous buy. Oh, it certainly is. But when it comes to marvelous buys, you ain't heard nothing yet. Now, Jimmy, do be careful of your English. It might be somebody's mother tongue. (laughs) Well, all right, I'll try to put it a little more elegantly. In honor of the first anniversary of the evolutionary 45 RPM system of recorded music... RCA Victor dealers are now offering a special anniversary album of 10 delightful records along with every Victrola 45 purchased for the usual price of the Victrola 45 alone, only $29.95. You were right, Jimmy. I hadn't heard nothing yet. (laughs) Now, what is in the album? 24 examples of the music America loves best, Roz, on 10 records Uh by such favorite RCA Victor performers as Vaughn Monroe, Freddie Martin, the Boston Pops, Tommy Dorsey, everything from Ave Maria by Perry Como to the Donkey Serenade by Alan Jones. Well, you might say, Jimmy, my favorite music for my favorite man or girl. Right, Roz. And another favorite with every young couple is the low price of 45 records. They start at only 46 cents apiece. Well, now, that's just about what my young friends will be able to spend per person per week, perhaps. (laughs) Jimmy, as far as I'm concerned, you've solved the wedding present problem for both the giver and the givee. Thank you. Yes, and that's what Americans by the million are saying, Roz. Thanks to RCA Victor for bringing the finest recorded music ever achieved within the easy reach of even the newest American family. I think it's only fair now that you should meet the Nixie in person. On the set of She Wouldn't Say Yes, he was the voice at our shoulder that whispered strange and beautiful commands. Actually, he's part Nixie, Part Pixie, and every inch a director. For he's the fellow who's created such fine entertainment as little Miss Marker. Here comes Mr. Jordan and the great lover. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Hall. Thank you, Roz. You know you weren't so far wrong when you compared a Nixie to a director. After all, a Nixie's just a guy who goes around releasing the inner impulses of other people. And the director? Well, our job is pretty much the same. Only we call the inner impulses talent. And, Roz, you've got enough of that to occupy a whole nest of Nixies. I only hope I'll be one of them again soon. Good night, Roz. Good night, everyone. And good night to you, Alexander Hall and Rosalind Russell. Remember next week, Cary Grant and Betsy Drake and Mr. Blandings Builds His Dream House with screen director H.C. Potter, brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. She Wouldn't Say Yes was presented through the courtesy of Columbia Pictures, producers of No Sad Songs for Me, starring Margaret Sullivan, Wendell Corey, and Vivica Linford. Rosalind Russell can currently be seen as the star of the Columbia Pictures comedy Woman of Distinction. Alexander Hall's latest production is 20th Century Fox comedy, Love That Fruit. A portion of tonight's program is transcribed. You are invited to listen again next Friday when RCA Victor presents... Screen Directors Playhouse stars Cary Grant, Betsy Drake. Production, Mr. Blandings builds his dream house. Director, H.C. Potter. Listen next for Jimmy Durante on NBC. NBC.